our topic in math 9 for the second quarter quadratic inequalities part 2 this lesson was about quadratic inequalities and their solution set and graphs the lesson provided you with opportunities to describe quadratic inequalities and their solution using practical situations mathematical expressions and their graphs moreover you were given the opportunity to draw and describe the graphs of quadratic inequalities and to demonstrate your understanding of the lesson by doing practical tasks. Your understanding of this lesson and other previously learned mathematics concepts and principles will facilitate your learning of the next lesson quadratic function okay so we have the definition of terms first term we have discriminant then what is discriminant so discriminant is the value of the expression b squared minus 4 ac in the quadratic formula next is extraneous root of solution the definition of extraneous root of solution is a solution of an equation described from an original equation however it is not a solution of the original equation next number three irrational roots the definition of irrational roots are roots equations which cannot be expressed as quotient of integers. Next is the quadratic equation in one variable. The definition of quadratic equations in one variable, these are mathematic sentences of degree 2 that can be written in the form of a squared plus bx plus c equals zero another term so we have quadratic formula so this is an equation that can be used to find the roots or solution of the quadratic equation a x squared plus bx plus c equals zero the quadratic formula is x is equal to negative b plus a negative the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2e the next quadratic inequalities these are mathematic sentences that can be written in any of the following forms ax squared plus bx plus c is greater than zero and ax squared plus bx plus c is greater than zero and ax squared plus bx plus c is 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 greater or equal to zero next is we have rational algebraic equations so these are mathematic sentences that contain irrational algebra algebraic expressions then the next is rational roots these are roots of equations which can be expressed as quotient of integers last okay we have the solution of roots of quadratic equation these are the values of the variables that make quadratic equation true then we have another one solutions of or roots of quadratic inequalities so these are values of the varia variables that make quadratic inequalities true 
Then we have here the graph of an inequalities of quadratic equation. So this graph represents the inequalities of quadratic equation. Then we have here the activity that select from the list of the mathematical sentences on the right side the inequality that is described by each of the following graph. Then you have to analyze this figure or this graph which is the quadratic inequalities. Then you have to answer the following questions. How did you determine the quadratic inequalities that is described by a given graph? Then we have letter B. In each graph, what does the shaded region represent? Then we have here letter C. How do the points in the shaded region of its graph facilitate in determining the inequality that defines it. Then we have here letter D. How would you describe the graphs of quadratic inequalities in two variables involving less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to? Then we have letter E. Suppose you are given a quadratic inequalities in two variables. How will you graph it? So, were you able to identify the inequalities that is described by its graph? Was it easy for you to perform this activity? I'm sure it was. Or if not, then try to find an easier way of doing this activity. I know you can do it in the next activity. Then you will work on a situation involving quadratic inequalities. Okay, so then our activity for this week two for the second quarter. How do you describe quadratic inequalities? For number two, give at least three examples of quadratic inequalities. Then we have number four. How do you find the solution set of unquadratic inequalities in one variable? Then what? how about quadratic inequalities in two variables? And then we have here number four. How would you describe the solution set of each of the following quadratic inequalities? 